Hi, good morning. It's Saturday, the 14th of November, uh, 2020. I hope everybody had a good week. Uh, I had to go back yesterday to the court to finish signing all the indictments, the rest of the indictments for my, for my grand jury duty service. So now I'm completely done with that. So <laughs> hopefully they said they won't call you for another eight years or so. I think that's the thing. But uh, like I said, I'm better off for having the experience, even though I kind of, you know, I didn't want to do it at first. It kind of made you appreciate the criminal justice system, like I said before. And uh, so I'm kind of glad I had the experience. Okay. So it makes you really appreciate the society, you know, law, you know, the way the system, the judicial system works. Okay. Which is, you know, I think the best in the world. I think, you know, it gives everybody a fair chance and stuff and you get judged by your peers and stuff. So I think it's good. Anyway, um, on to other things. Um, I like I said, uh, I ordered the movies uh, for my uh, digital pro giveaway and Blu-ray update. So, and I recorded the video last night, so I just gotta upload it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up. Uh, I just gotta finish rendering it, you know, and then I'm gonna upload it after this video and just schedule it to debut tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning because I think we can do that. So what I'm going to do after I upload this video, I'm going to do that. But I also got to watch the, the Mandalorian uh, uh, season two, episode three, which came out yesterday. So I'm going to watch that, and react to that, try to record that before I go outside. So that way I can, uh, when I come back, I can do an edited version. And I'll do the long version for my Patreon channel and do an edited version, you know, that I'm going to put on this YouTube channel, which I can do later today. So that way. That saves me time just by uploading the Blu-ray update because I recorded it last night and I just put a little background in it, a uh, little background uh, in it. Uh, and so I just got to upload it with my Windows uh, Media you know, Movie Maker there and just and then upload it and just schedule it to, to um, debut tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock so that way I don't have to actually, you know, not do that tomorrow morning, So which I should have been doing it up in the in the first place. <laughs> so I'm glad I recorded it early because I ordered the movies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that in the future from now on. I'm just going to look on Saturday and Sunday and see what movie and then order it and then have it just delivered and just sort of say, you know, because like I said, Best Buy, my Best Buy at least over here has really gone downhill in terms of movies. They really not what they used to be. It's like they don't even care anymore about movies anymore so anyway uh so like i gotta watch the mandalorian and did but there's also two movies i want to watch too uh that's i forgot the name of it it's the movie with uh vince vaughn i saw the trailer for it uh vince vaughn well he plays a a serial killer it's a comedy slash it's sort of like a happy death day to you almost in a way it's like a comedy horror type thing where vince vaughn plays like the serial killer at this high school what i get or in this town i think and he's after this one high school girl, and then I think some freaky accident happens, and they switch bodies. So like, so it's like Freaky Friday, with serial killer <laughs> thing, and they switch bodies. So she's a serial killer now, and then he's she's in his body, and she's trying. He's he who is now she is trying to stop him while she's in while she, he's in her body, going around killing people. <laughs> so it it looks funny from the trailer. You know, I love Vince Vaughn so. I'm definitely going to try to watch that. And then also the uh, the Crab uh, sequel. Like, so those two movies, I'm going to see if I can watch those today. Because I think I may have time. Because I think those are about 90 minutes each, I think, which is about three hours. So if I can start watching those around 10-ish, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1. Okay, let's see if I can start watching them around 10. I think I, which I think I should have time. Because I think I should be able to... Yeah, I think I should, if I can start watching it tonight, I think it'll be done by like uh, one o'clock, and then I'll go out around two o'clock and gotta do my errands, you know, put my clothes in the cleaners and all that stuff. Uh, so, and you go food shopping and stuff, and then get back in the house. Oh, yeah, and I gotta call my stepfather. He went to the hospital the other day, and I gotta check and see how he's doing and stuff. Uh, give him a call, yeah, you know, and see how he's doing, and hopefully, yeah, me. He's doing okay. Uh, the thing about my stepfather is that if he feels any bit of pain or anything else, he doesn't wait around. He goes to the hospital immediately 
he gets himself checked out. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't wait around, which is a good thing, exactly, because he wants to live, which is a good positive attitude to have and stuff. So, so, so you know, hope he's all right. I'm going to call him this morning and see how he's doing and stuff. I was going to call him last night, but I fell asleep, of course, as usual. And then I got too late, and I didn't want to, you know, call him when he's probably sleeping. So I'm going to call him this morning and see how he's doing. Okay, so anyway, um, in terms of work, um, like I said, this is the time where people are going to uh, start taking their vacation time up, November slash December, because you got Thanksgiving coming up and, you know, Christmas and all that stuff. So we have to, at my job, you have to take up use of all your days before the end of the year or you lose them. Uh, so I have a week coming in December, and the other two guys that I work with right now, uh, Mark, who they brought him back when I went to jury, Grand Jury Duty Service, he's going on vacation, I think, starting Tuesday afternoon. I think he gets half a day, and then he's on vacation until that next Monday, and then he comes back that Tuesday, and then Wednesday we have a half a day because for Thanksgiving, and then we're off Thursday, Friday. Uh, and then I think he's off that Monday, and then I think Gary is off Monday, and then he takes a week. He takes his vacation, too. But anyway, uh, like I said, I, I schedule, thankfully, because I had to use up most of my vacation time for um, when I was on grand jury duty service so I can get paid because you don't get that check from grand jury duty service till like six to eight weeks later. So I had to use up my vacation and sick time and stuff to my personal day to make sure I still got paid because grand jury duty service only pays you for three days. I mean, my job only pays you for three days when you're on jury duty service, which is stupid to me. They should, you know, they should change that law and make the because what's the point? You serve you serving the community, okay? Or that, or they should give you the money up front or something. But that's just my opinion about that. Anyway, uh, uh, so I think that's it. So look for my uh, Blu-ray update video, which should drop tomorrow. Digital code giveaway. So there'll definitely be a contest uh, tomorrow, okay? The, you know, the video is going to drop tomorrow morning. We'll schedule it for 8 a.m. tomorrow, so it'll drop. Okay, so look for that. And look for, hopefully for my review of uh, my of Mandalorian Season 3, episode, and Season 2, Episode 3, and also my review of those two, uh, uh, you know, the Crafts sequel and the uh, the, the horror stuff. Kind of, I forgot the name of it, uh, for the Vince Vaughn. Uh, we'll go see if I can watch that, those two movies today, because I think they should be about 90 minutes each, which is... A good, nice, fun time for a horror slash comedy. And like I said, I like Vince Vaughn, so and that looks funny from the trailer. So, anyway, um, yeah. So that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna just you know do those things, and also, like I said, I'm gonna start again. Look into uh, starting my patron channel. Like I said, I have a lot of content already, you know, uh, saved up exactly. So I'm I'm ready to get be, but I wanna do a few other things to try to, you know, make the experience of anybody joining my patron worth it, okay? That's so, I just want to make sure I, you know, get my ducks in a row when it comes to that, okay? So, yeah, okay, and uh, what else is, I think that's about it. Uh, I don't want to ramble on too much, but I think that covers the basics, okay? That's going to be Blu-ray update, digital code giveaway video, which is going to debut tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time on this channel, and, oh yeah, because uh, I know I keep men I mentioned it in the Blu-ray update video, there's a YouTuber, Dekatana65, who won Hellboy, so I'm just saying it in all the videos, so that way in case he sees this, uh, he won the co last contest I had, which was a couple of weeks ago, and he hasn't contacted me yet, and I want to try to give him every opportunity to, to win, and so maybe tomorrow, like I said, because I mentioned it in the video, and I'm going to in that video, I'm going to put his name again, as you know, because I mentioned it too. So maybe when he sees the video tomorrow, he'll, you know, he'll recognize it and contact me, so I can give him his his movie, because I want to make sure, you know, I can give him every opportunity to, you know, to claim his movie. Because if I don't hear from him again after doing this other contest, I'm going to have to put Hellboy into the in the pile again, and just do it that way. So, but I want to give him every opportunity to claim his prize. Okay, anyway, um, so I hope everybody have a great weekend. The weather's been, been rainy a lot uh, here in New York, but uh, more or less, I think it's 
it's going to start getting colder. I looked at the schedule, you know, the schedule, the weather forecast for the next week coming up, and it looks like the temperatures, you know, is going to start dropping. So we'll see how it goes. And like I said, Thanksgiving is coming up next. So, but like I said, normally uh, we go to my sister's house to eat and all that stuff, but maybe this time because of the pandemic and all this and everything else, what we'll do, I got to call my sister to find out. Let's see. So maybe we'll, you know, I usually give her money and then she usually cooks and then we go to her house and eat and then she, you know, gives us food to have for the like, rest of the week. But maybe because of the pandemic, what we can do is give her the money and let her cook and then just have her drop the food off or we can pick it up from her and then just eat, eat at my house, me and my brother eating here. And because, you know, we don't, you don't want to gather too many people together and they, and they, and not encouraging people to travel, especially because, you know, Thanksgiving is the most traveled day of the year. So, you know, because of the pandemic and cases are going up all over the country. Okay, so, uh, so they, you know, encourage people not to, you know, get together, which is, I understand, because of the pandemic, and especially in New York, because they're talking about closing schools back again because it's getting above a certain percentage, which I, uh, I perfectly understand. I don't, I was going to say this because I don't, I should, I normally don't give my opinion on this channel. I save that for my other channel, but I just have to mention this. For all the idiots, and I'm going to mention it, that constantly bitch about wearing a mask, okay? Every day, I think it's on MSNBC, and I think sometimes on CNN, they show all the people that have died and their families and how that affects them and stuff. And I saw this interview with this girl that, this really broke my heart that she was in a coma. She was on a respirator for, like, I think, for a couple of weeks. And then finally she woke up and her mother was there. And so, she, and they were talking about how she couldn't touch her and stuff. And she had to wait, you know, to see, see her on Zoom with the nurses and stuff. And then finally, you know, they were able to have her come in and see her daughter. And and you can tell that the daughter was through, has been through something. And she was, like, saying, you know, and then the, the reporter was asking her, what would you tell people about? And she said, take it seriously, wear the mask, you know, this is no joke. And it looked like she was just grateful, you know, to be alive, and which is perfectly understandable. And so that's why I don't see how people can try to be idiots and not wear a mask and protect yourself and protect others. It's silly. That's why we're going through this in this country, because these idiots won't listen to reason, okay? And it doesn't help these idiot politicians are giving these stupid speeches and, and talking about not wearing a mask and religious freedom. Spare me the BS, okay? We're trying to stay alive. Anyway, I'm sorry about that rant, but I just had to get that out. Okay. Anyway, I uh, hope everybody have a great weekend. Stay safe. Be well. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Okay? And I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. We can check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.